outstanding for us and, and to have the kids out there when you're running through the A and it means so much to, to all of our team. We told the uh, junior Razorbacks they'd be almost close enough to touch the players, and they almost did. Well, you got to be careful. Someone won't run through the A with <laughs> us. And we, and we know in that junior Razorback, we were able to have the win in the first quarter. And what little win there was certainly turned out to be a big, big importance. Look at this key play. A third down and long. Quinn Grovey sitting in there with great protection. Derek Russell using his outstanding speed to make the free <laughs> draw circle up right there. The biggest thing you do is get out of the way. Oh, we miss a block here completely. It spins James around, and that's vintage James Rouse to turn a loss into a first down and a key play in the first drive of the game. so happy that they're here, and they're making a great contribution. This is the first field goal of the day of the record setting, but at least we get points on the board. I think at this time, TCU is very static that it's only three. But remember what I told you, the best thing, we've got to stop their north-south run. They decided we would be pretty good at that. Great play, Steve. Holy Toledo. Great play. Keeping them backed up with the wind, that's what we wanted to do. And the thing that set it up is our kicking team. Our kickoff team's done such a great job to put them deep in there in the field. They decide, look at this play. That I is tell great you what, athletic that, ability. Hey, that's better. That's Here's the triple option. We pitch the ball to James. Great blocking. Look at here. We make 12, 13 yards. Get the ball. It's the all, most points ever by a kicker. Most points. Really. He had 19 points yesterday. The previous record was 14, so he shattered that record. 19 points by a kicker and uh, puts us up 6 to nothing. Once again that kind of combination. Here's our doubles formation. Doubles package. Watch this play. This is a new play we put in for the ball game, too. Another key play for a first down. And we're going to come through. And you watch this ball sail. I mean, it, it's not even close. I mean, the ball just takes off. That's a 49 yarder, and it could easily go another 10 yards. Could have been a, almost a 60 yarder. Of course, uh, at one time, the record of the NCAA was kicked here, a 67 yarder. That gives Arkansas. The week before it rained a lot, he got a lot of life. Look at this play. Great job, Kerry. Hold it, Toledo. Get out that ball, Reggie. That is a tremendous job. Who comes up with the ball? Wayne Mark. Great play. That was the option play. Great field position, the offense. Watch this play. Great block. Great run, 32 yards by Aaron. We're going to draw this play up at halftime and show you why it was such a big play of 32 yards. Hey, out of a triple option. That turned out to be the best play in the ball game for us. Watch this play. Quinn sets up, throws it in there to Timmy Horton. Touchdown, City. Coach, you were in the full wishbone set there, and yet sent five receivers out. We got all five out, and this is uh, why we want in all of our formations. We want to always be able to run the triple option. We always want to be able to get all five receivers out. And this is kind of a key breaker. When they see you're in there, they don't think you can run the drive. Look at Quinn. Did he put the ball on the net? With this break, we'd like to welcome a new sponsor. Kicking game certainly gave us good field position, and this is a big play. Watch this ball. Oh, you can't see it as well. Steve Atwater just comes in there and aggressively just takes the ball away from everybody. And I mean, the ball was tipped up, but then the way he went and attacked it made all the difference in the world. And enjoying tying the career interception record. Career interception. We're play again. So it did its purpose, served its purpose. Watch this, a full blitz. We got a full blitz coming. Great play, a super throw, a great play to the outside. And, uh, we get great blocking on this one right here. And uh, Quinn just uses his speed, and it's all over. That's what he can do. I'm going to see on the replay here, Billy Winston really makes a great block to seal off that move for Grovey. Well, we've always had good tight ends, you know, here. Theo Young has done a good job. Luther Franklin has done a good job in the past. Billy has certainly learned from both of those guys. And uh, we get everything tied up inside. Billy does a good job. And look at Aaron. The guy has to run around. The linebacker at 93 has to run around Aaron, which really sets this up for the scores. They want to be on a multiple. In this case, we want to be on a multiple of eight. Three scores in the maker. And this is a play that's just phenomenal. Great effort by Timmy Horton to stay in bounds. <coughs> good scramble. Mr. Razorback's having a good time this afternoon. Arkansas with a 24 to nothing. Kickoff coverage. Great defense that goes with it. Here is a triple option play once again. And look at Quinn going down the side. Holy Toledo. They like get on enough to get caught in the high. But I'll tell you what, it's a lot of highlights. And uh, the guys played so well. And watch Quinn right here. Just duck in. We've got Steve Hudson. Good block, Steve. Steve from down in Monroe, Louisiana. He eludes that first defender who comes in here. It's just wide open for him. Well, right here, you can see they get suckered in. See, number 44 got suckered in there as a linebacker position, and that's why it opened up so much. Just an incredible start for the Razorbacks. 
late in the first half. He needs to punt it extremely well. Watch this play. I mean, there's no option there. Wayne Martin, look at the seniors involved there. There's Mike Shepard coming over there. Great job of Sal Harper coming up. A big touchdown on fourth and one. We've got to do it. Watch this play. Juke one, juke two. Get in there and make the first down. He gets in there and does it. And that is vintage Quinn Grover. I can still remember the touchdowns that he has. Good blocking. Look at the block and knock him off the line of screen. Jim Mabry drove this man three yards deep. Uh, Steve Hudson did. We're really proud of Billy Burnett, too. And everything he did. This is an 87-yard touchdown for a score. Good blocking by Todd Jones. Look at Jimmy putting this up to Derek. Derek immediately cuts behind Philander Newton. Now it's a foot race. And here they come, Stanley Petrie and Derek's able to score and 87 yards. I don't think anyone knew. I had no idea of ball in 13 yard line. Longest passing play in Razorback history. And if you have any doubts about Derek Russell's speed, he runs the 87 yard dash very well. The 87 yard, that's right. We, we, I'm sure that he can do something. I was really happy for him. I was really happy for Jimmy Williams, who uh, has meant such a, uh, so much to our team. Not going through spring practice, having to learn. Kendall Trainer's kick makes it 45 to 3 Arkansas. We'll move now late in the third quarter. TCU backed up to its goal line at its own five. Five yard line, we were hoping to hold them back here where we could make them punt deep in the end zone, and we do. Great job. Chad Rowland and uh, James McCoy from Mariana. Chad Rowland from Sherman, Texas. Here's Kendall Trainer's try to tie the record. Well, a lot of times people say, well, why, why don't you just go for it right here? Well, we still want confidence. We still, or, or when we get close, uh, we want, every time we get down, we want points on the board. And uh, we have different snappers at times. We have different linemen that are practicing. So we're still trying to prepare and improve on something that you don't get a lot of opportunities to do. So that's why we're doing it. There's big Mackenzie Phillips from Springdale in there playing. Nathan Kendig and those guard playing. And watch old Nathan. Great job. Nathan causing the fumble and coming up with the ball. Look at that. Nathan can be. Golly, I'm really proud of him. We dress out. Everybody plays all of our JV center games, so that's why we went with our number one people to give Kendall a chance. And, of course, he's put the upright, left the ball right in the middle of the field. We're trying to run up the score, so to speak, but we did want him, and we're proud of Kendall. And that, of course, left Arkansas victorious 53-10 to over TCU.